How's it gaming? I'm Phil in the Blanks, and welcome to the Adams Family for the Master System. If you've played the NES version, then this is actually functionally identical to that version, but I figured I don't play enough Master System games, so let's do that, that one instead. Uh, it also came out in the Game Gear, but obviously if a game comes in the Game Gear and Master System, the Master System has the better, you know, resolution, so you get a lot more game out of it, so I usually try to play it like that. Uh, here's our inventory. These are all the things we need to find our family, and it is an Adam's Family game, so it is all about finding our family. Uh, and we start right outside. There's Gomez. Isn't he cute? For some reason, the game likes to give us a tip after like two seconds of playing. Uh, one of the gravestones leads to a crypt. Stand on the gravestone and press 2 on the control pad to enter. Yeah, okay. So, how to get into things. Uh, yeah, the whole point of the game is to find your family. You start with Gomez... And uh, you gotta find uh, Morticia, Wednesday, Granny, Pugsley, and uh, Thing. You don't find Uncle Fester. It follows the movie where Uncle Fester is kind of a bad guy. And uh, there's some legs sticking out of the house. That's actually Pugsley, <laughs> funnily enough. But yeah, no, this... Uh, oh, damn you, Fester. Whoops, I forgot about that. Dang. We can't get into the house yet. It is locked. We need to find the key. That's the first step of the game. Just like the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis version of the game, we played the Super NES one last year. Uh, the game is a kind of open-worldy kind of thing. Um, this one, a little bit more so. It's, it's definitely smaller than the 16-bit version of Adam's Family, but it is more open to what you can do. In, in the 16-bit version, it's open, but you had to just get to a place... Uh, and then once you got to that area, it was basically just a, uh, a standard level. It looked big and sprawling, but it was pretty much just branches from the main house to levels to find your family. In this one, um, it is still kind of that, but you do have to do things in a certain order, because a lot of what you can do depends on what you find. So the first thing we need to find right here is to kill this skeleton and get the main house key. It takes three hits. Ah, how did that not land? Also, this game is ridiculous with its hitboxes. It really sometimes doesn't seem like Gomez lands on things. And out of these four uh, four rooms, we want to avoid the bottom right, because it will kill you. But the other ones all have this kind of room, and this one specifically has uh, a bone at the top. I know that it has a million bones right here, but it has an actual item, a collectible bone, <coughs> which we will need to save Pugsley. So... Yeah, this is a, a very weird game. Uh, you you do need to go everywhere and like basically, basically find everything. It's not just about saving your family. You need to also get a million dollars. So every time you see money, you really should get it. Um, because there's only a little bit more than a um, than, than million dollars to get. So you do need to really be careful. I like how it just says door. Bam. Oh, no, I didn't go through it. Damn, whoops. Yeah, you have no um, invincibility time when you get hit. Your life just starts draining. But next room, it's the same room, but we're basically just here to make some money. The bags, I believe, are worth a thousand each, which is really good because it means, or no, ten thousand each, maybe. Uh, or no, yeah, I think it's ten thousand. I think the regular um, stacks of dollar bills are maybe five hundred, so they're not worth a whole lot. It really is all about the gold, or sorry, the um, stacks of money. There are gold bricks as well. I think they give you maybe 500 or something like that. But for some reason, when you're in a certain rooms, you don't get to see your score. or And your life is like a bar on the left instead of the bottom. I don't get, really get why they did that, but whatever. We want all the money we can get. There are a bunch of secret areas, too, that are like hidden. And I don't know how you're supposed to beat the game without finding those, because you need all the money you can get. And if you don't do them, you're not going to have the money you need to beat the game. We're at 87,000. So, yeah, they give you 10,000 each. So the gold, uh, the, sorry, the, the money bags are really, really what you want. Like right here, that's 40000 on the screen right now, so definitely good. They are worth the most. But yeah, no, um, it's a pretty fun game. It is, uh, the NES version specifically is kind of known to not be super great. Uh, the Angry Video Game Nerd covered a long, long time ago, over a decade ago. Uh, and it, it does a lot of problems, but it, it's one of those games like uh, Die Hard that we played on the on the channel for Christmas a couple years ago where, like, yeah, it does seem kind of crappy, but then when you really look into what they were doing and how they were trying to tie it into the movie, it's kind of an interesting idea, and this kind of f falls in that category for me, so I, I, I actually appreciate a lot of it, even though it's not, <laughs> like, well thought out in terms of a game, but that's okay. 
It is also very short. It's one of those where, like, you're supposed to try to figure everything out and stuff. So there, now we can get out of the crypt. If I can get the ladder, or the ladder, the rope. Back to the house. So yeah, like I said, the NES version... Oh, how did that not hit? Um, the NES version is functionally identical to this game. It just has uh, much worse graphics. Gomez also looks terrible. That's actually uh, one of the... Ooh, careful. One of the big reasons why I chose this game is not just because of the graphics, it's specifically Gomez. Look at that walk. His hand is always in his pocket, even when he jumps. And I just, I think that's so funny. Uh, he has a lot of personality in this one. He's got little teeth coming out. I just, I love him. I think he's great. Let's go inside and uh, immediately move because that chandelier will get you. And our first job is to uh, find Wednesday. And what we want to do here in the kitchen is avoid these guys. Oh, no, nope, don't want to jump on there. There we go. Into the freezer. And this is actually a very difficult part, but most of this game really does have to be kind of in order a little bit because uh, you need certain things. And damn, I'm not meaning to get hit this much. Jeez. Oh, there's diamonds too. How much are the diamonds worth? I was not paying attention. Let's see. Let's hope I can get this. Okay, it's worth 4,000. That's very random. The diamonds are also very good, but the bags are better. But we're already 20% of the way to a million. That doesn't mean it's going to be super easy. Uh, we really do need to focus on getting every piece of dollar, <laughs> piece of money, every little cent that we can get our grubby little hands on by the end of the game. So. Jump. Really icy physics. They, uh, they, they affect you in the air, too, which is very frustrating. And that does not look like water. I want to point that out. That's a little too yellowy and kind of gross looking. Uh, life and Wednesday looks terrible there. <laughs> that looks really funny. Jump, Gomez. Ah, there we go. Thank you for releasing me, Father, but I cannot help you until I have thawed out. Okay, well, uh, let's thaw out Wednesday. We have to bring her someplace else, basically. Um, So, uh, this is the... Uh, second Adam's Family game we've played on the channel. Uh, there are more, but uh, if you were like into video games in the, like the mid '90s, uh, the, for consoles you pretty much had the 16-bit version, which was the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo, which we did last year, and then the 8-bit versions, this one and the NES, uh, and the I guess the Game Gear version too. And then there's the Game Boy version, which is actually completely different again. So I guess we'll play that next year. I don't know. I'm kind of enjoying the Adams Family stuff. There's also um, Pugsley's uh, Scavenger Hunt, which is the same idea. You have that whole house to go through, and you have to go into areas of the house to rescue your family. The idea is always, almost always the same. You just either play as Gomez or Pugsley, I guess. And they came out for both the NES and the uh, Genesis, or sorry, Super Nintendo, and probably the Genesis, too. I'm about to die. I'm so low on life. That's okay. We should be... Ooh, there we go. We should be fine. Uh, not that we get a lot of lives, but... Once you kind of really get used to the controls, it's really not that difficult. It, especially when you know where you're going, you're not wasting your time. You want to go up here, climb the pipes, get this bucket. Yes, that's the kind of game this is, by the way. And go into the furnace. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Whoops. And should happen in a second. There we go. Thank you, Father. I feel much better now. Please take the attic key. And now we have the key to the attic. So, yeah, you really should be doing the stuff in uh, this kind of order. You see, it has the bucket. We have two of the three keys. Um, I really did have to use a walkthrough to play this game. I had no idea what was happening. I was like, all right, so I'm walking around. I'm like, well, I can't go anywhere. I was so confused. Uh, and even when I got a little bit of a walkthrough, like, to figure out where to go, I still couldn't beat the game because I didn't realize you needed a million dollars. So I didn't bother to go to the secret areas and stuff like that because I was, like, just kind of trying to play the game for the first time, basically. Uh, but yeah, man, you really need to. So it's, it's worth going for these things. Ah, damn. Hello, Granny. How you doing? If you can find my spanner, I will be able to repair the fog machine for you. The fog, the bone, and the an egg, I think is the other thing, is what you need for the potion to help Pugsley out. He is stuck in, like, kind of like his... I don't know, laundry chute? Garbage chute? I have no idea. But he's too big. You, you need to think of a, a... make a shrinking potion for him. It's really weird. And I read the manual. The manual is no help. The manual's just like, you can give pieces of music to Lurch. It'll help you, but you'll have to figure that out. And like, thanks. Thanks, manual. Uh, I don't know how anyone could have beat this game as a little kid. 
Honestly, this would have pissed me off. At least the Super NES one was just a straight up action game, so you knew what you were doing. Damn you, Spider. And over here we have the dining room. Careful of this the Frankenstein's monster guy. Boom, Chandler killed him. Ugh, no. No. Plant from, uh, what's that thing called? Barbershop of Horrors or whatever. Get away. There's also a secret area in here. Oh no, it's not here. Whoops, sorry. It's uh, it's in another area with a few of those windows. Well, we'll go there. Basically, we needed the umbrella, though. I don't think you need the umbrella, but it's good to have to get some money, so. Here it is. So there is a secret inside this little window thing right there, but I don't really know how to get it. Uh, sometimes I get, sometimes I don't. It's not working for me now. Tell you what. There is money in there, obviously, but we're gonna keep going because it's so close to the um, beginning of the of the mansion. Uh, if we get to the end of the game and I don't have enough money, we'll try again. I, I do kind of want to see this thing uh, if we can get. Oh, I should go over there and do this now. Yay, money! Not a whole lot, only one hundred gold each, but I might as well or hundred dollars each, I guess. Um, but yeah, if, if we're at the end of the game and I don't have enough money, we'll come back and try to get in that secret room. This. Um, it, this does end. This is not endless. You can't just stay here. But if you are just within a couple hundred left, you can come back, and it won't be as, as much as this as we're getting right now, but a couple will still fall here and there, so you can kind of top up to the million. Right now, we're just kind of getting a bunch as much as we kind of can to help us out. So we'll stay here as long as we need until it stops. Oops, still going, still going. It does stop, doesn't it? There we go. All right, let's head out. There's a television. I can't imagine they, them uh, watching TV. The Adams Family Gomez watch TV. Oh, just jump up here. And... I missed. Thing, why aren't you helping me? And for some reason, Thing can talk in this. Once we rescue him or whatever. I can help you three times in your quest to save or rescue Morticia. Wow. After that, you just don't want to, huh? So, he's actually a little bit of an invincibility item. Uh, you can use him three times within one playthrough. And there is one specific area where I want to use him. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so... I've got like one pixel left of health here. I made it through. Oh, watch the, the sword! Haha, <laughs> I fooled you. Um, but yeah, uh, there's a specific, pl a specific place I want to use them, so... Wait till then. And here we have the ballroom. Now these guys are in the way of this door. We cannot get them out, so we will come back. And that is actually what we need, one of the songs for Lurch. We will deal with that as we deal with that. Right here is kind of the bigger area in the game. A uh, long hallway with a bunch of doors. It's kind of everyone's, oh, well, I'm dead. Everyone's room, the toy room. If you are standing on a frowny block, you will just drain health. So your timing has to be good. And uh, hopefully not garbage. Oh, damn. Oh my gosh, that, it's, look how much that drains you. That's so ridiculous. We got the goggles. Hooray. Or the snorkel, whatever. That allows us to go underwater. Excuse me. Damn. And here we get... Oh, dear. Drew the Fester's, Fester's room. It only has a single, uh, single money bag here, so nothing crazy. There we go. I have no idea if we're doing good for money, so... It's not a long game. The house isn't gigantic, so... But every time you see some money, just try to grab it. It really is that important. And we have the bathroom. Oh, yeah. This is kind of funny because I didn't realize what was happening, but if you hit these things, they're pieces of soap, and you'll actually fall to the ground. If, oh, they're like, exactly. But you don't die. It looks like you die, but you don't die. We want to go up here and want to turn the shower on. Don't know why you have to jump all the way up here to turn a shower on. There we go. And with our bucket, we can go over here. And now we have a full bucket. There we go. We got, you know, we're just missing the spanner and some music. The music is just in, a, in the area where you need to use it, so it's not that important. But the spanner is important, and we also need uh, the potion ingredients, too. In Wednesday's room, we have dolls. Of course we got dolls. We got the key, the last key we need up here, which I really do need. Oh my gosh. Please, please stop. There we go. Wooden key, which uh, opens the door to the... Um, big tree outside where we started, which was where we'll get the egg. And Pugsley's room, of course. And here, we actually see Pugsley. We get the thing. We can go all the way to the right, fall down this hole, and we'll actually talk to Pugsley. 
Father, I am stuck in my escape chute. You can free me by finding the shrinking potion ingredients and giving me the potion. Okay, Pugsley. We will do that. My poor little boy is stuck in the house. He's very calm about it. But with this, we can go right to the left, and we'll go right back where we started at the beginning of the game. And there is no, like, bird boss like the 16-bit version, so that's, that's probably for the best. Right in here, and this is one of the hardest maps in the entire game. These ones, ah, in the middle will fall. So you gotta be really careful right, right here. Oh, damn, ooh. I love uh, Gomez's surprised face, it looks so funny. Yeah, it's the kind of 3D look to the logs that really make this difficult. Okay, we're doing good. Get across here. Jump, ooh. And there's, of course, a little bit of a piece right here. We'll just jump over it. There we go, we got the egg. Let's go all the way back down. It's okay if we die here, I guess, because we've gotten everything, but I still don't want to. Just go all the way here and right back to the door. Not bad, not bad. We're, we're, we're doing it. Not a long game, if you know what you're doing, but I can imagine a kid spending years on this without the internet and just being like, I literally have no idea. It's so difficult. Hello, Fester. I remembered it this time. Oh, not there. Aha! And the door to the left, by the way, that never opens up. So no one really knows what it is. I actually looked up online and everyone is like, what is it? Use the bucket of water on this uh, on the fireplace and we get a little bit of money. This one's a shame. It's only the this, these dollars, so it's really not a lot. These are giving me 500 each. That's not bad. Um, but if it was um, the sacks of money, that would have been amazing. So... It's okay. We're getting there. We're doing it. Head to the left here. See, this one's nothing. Such a shame. This is the gallery. Hello, everyone. You can see there is stuff up there. So this is kind of a weird thing. So this bear rug will come alive. And it looks just looks like a giant teddy bear. From like an off-brand weird PC game from like 1989 or something. Let's get him trapped in the bear trap. Boink. There we go. And now he's stuck. He can still hurt you, by the way. Be very careful. But he is stuck. Uh, so to get the money up here, we're going to need to jump, jump, and on top of here. And that's pretty much it. It just takes an annoying amount of time. We're more than halfway to the game. We're not even halfway to the monies. So this is where it starts getting a little bit more worrying. But we haven't found, like, a, uh, a secret room with the money bags. There are a couple of them in the game, and each one of those gives you a full $100,000. So that's, that's really nice. So that definitely really, really helps me. That's 10% that's right there. Nope, go up, up. Pretty good 8-bit renditions of the uh, characters, too, in their portraits. They look pretty decent. Not bad at all. It's the same pictures from the Super NES version, too, in the Sega Genesis. So this, it's just, like, the same picture, but, like, redone for the hardware. Pretty cool. The study. Watch out for all the swords. They will always bounce to the right. Be very careful. Uh, what would hit me there? Come on, really? And inside, we can uh, find the music. And I know what two of them do. I don't know what the other one does, but the one right here is what we need. Move the stool. It will call Lurch. And Lurch looks terrible in this game. Where are you, Lurch? There you are. He looks sad. He looks like he's been crying. Uh, you rang. That's what you should say. Be given the piece of music that I got. I will take this to the, this music to the ballroom and play it for you. And now he's, even though he's not there, it's playing. And it'll only play for a little while. So we actually want to uh, go back to the ballroom. And that will get us into the uh, garden, kind of backyard, I guess. Where our next little area, our next little adventure awaits us. <laughs> There's the bear, forever trapped. Again, I love how his hand's just in his pocket all the time. It's so funny to me. Up we go. A little climbing animation. And there we go. They're dancing around, so we just head right in. We can get the money later. We'll be coming back this way anyways. We're in the wood. The wood's in the backyard. We have uh, freaking apples falling on us, as if this was like, I want to be the guy or something. It's ridiculous. This is the most generic portion, I think. It's like, really, this the wood, and here's some monsters. Ooh, it's like a so generic-y, action-y platformer. It's funny, because, like, I find this game looks pretty decent on the Master System. On the NES, it feels so... I don't know, unlicensed. It really feels like not a real game. I don't know, it's something about it looks and plays terribly. Ooh, cheese! 
That will give me full life. Perfect timing. There's only like three pieces of cheese in the game, too. It's pretty nuts. Give me a frog soon. And we want the, yeah, the frog will run away from us. We want to chase it. We want to jump on it so we can get across the river. Oh, no, he ran away. Damn. That's okay. We're going to have another chance for that in a second. We needed the snorkel for this. I don't know what happens if we just, like, die, but... Go miss some really wonky swimming, and it's just like Turtles, TMNT for the NES, where if you touch the seaweed, you just start dying. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> want the diamond, and I don't, I don't even know if we can get it. Yeah, get that without dying. We want everything here. Hey, more cheese! Underwater cheese. Under the bree, under the bree. That's that's the best joke I got. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> There's the wrench, the spanner that Grandma needed, Granny or whatever. We want to go in here, avoid this jellyfish. Come on, man, hurry it up. Thank you. How did what hurt me there? There we go. A hundred thousand bucks right here. Oh my gosh, thank you. That definitely helps. It makes us look like we're doing a lot better money wise. There we go. Sixty-one, uh, six hundred sixteen thousand. We've got, like, what? 15 minutes left, I think. We're nearing the end. We're getting there. I mean, when you get down to it, the only person we're missing right now is Pugsley, I think. And the last item we actually need is the, um... Uh... B -b 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 the fog for the potion, which is what we're gonna be doing. But yeah, even though... I guess the wrench was here, so we did need to go here, yeah. But, um... Just a lot of... Like, everywhere, you know what I mean? A lot of little exploration things. But again, you have to do it in the right order. That's what's crazy about it. Yeah, let's try again to um, get the frog to come over. It will run away from us, so I kind of need to go behind it. There we go. Run back to the lake, please. I will follow you. And, yes, it is worth it. That is, that is $30,000 right there. Absolutely worth it. 3% of the money we need. In one little area, so yes. All right, head back to the uh, the house. Got the bear trap, and we really only have one place left to kind of go before the end of the game, and that is the attic. So we haven't, we didn't complete the landing. Uh, we went to the landing, we, we went to Pugsley room, and then we fell down his escape chute and left the house. We kind of want to go back there and continue left uh, through the landing and continue onwards from there. Damn. And uh, the, the attic is actually, actually it's the roof, is what I've been holding on to thing for. Uh, it's really where I need them, so get in there. Oh yes, let's uh, get all the money in here too. Thank you. Climb up. I love that. That's actually a really cool thing. I like that a lot. Climbing the uh, the curtains. It's kind of a cute idea. Oh my gosh, your, your life drains so fast. It's so funny. There we go. That bring us back to the main room. There we go. Head up to the left. We're getting there. Short game. Very much so, especially compared to the 16-bit uh, version. I don't know how long the Game Boy 1 is, but I know there is a glitch that can let you beat it in a minute or two, which is really funny. The next time we play it, we'll, we'll beat it normally, and then we'll beat it at the speed runway just for fun. I always like those kind of things. Up we go! Up! It was up, up. How are we not climbing? There we go. Jeez, I was like stuck there for a bit. Into the attic. The attic is frustrating because it's just a lot of enemies. And uh, those brick walls uh, look like they're background, but they're not. So be very careful. Oh my god, how is that not jumping on him? Jumping on his butt. Need all the money we can get. Going here, obviously you need to do to get the fog, but uh, if you find a little secret area, you can get a ton of money. That's really, really good too. Still want everything we can get here. Bat, go away. Yeah, stay there. Okay, we'll do that then. Oh my god. My life depletes so quickly. I'm still doing fine. Four lives is more than enough to beat the game. Oof. Man, the jumping is so awkward. It's like if you jump at them, it's like, oh, you know, you got hit. But you jump kind of near them, it's like, that counts. It's very odd. I hate it. Oh, whoops, it's a wall. 
There is a secret um, room in this area as well. Uh, I'm actually not going to get it because it actually kicks you out. And yeah, I got to do the attic again. I don't want to. I don't want to do the attic again. Careful, you. There we go. You're going to respawn, though, aren't you? Yeah, crap. Uh, oh, that was close. I'm so close to dead. Come on. Go ahead up here, right there on the um, wardrobe, by the way, is actually where the secret door is. We're going to avoid it because it kicks you back out towards the landing. So if you do want it, go for it. I'm not going to unless I need to. So hopefully not, but... And here we go. If you get hit by anything here, you fall off the roof. So we are going to avoid that and just use thing. There we go. Thing activated. I activated the thing. And now we can just walk right through it. Good. I'm just going to hold left. I'm going to take a drink. Ah, perfect. As you tell, this is a very long room, though. So we're going to activate thing again when he's, uh, when he's disappeared. Let's do it again. And this is what's frustrating is that you gotta use two things of thing in order to get past this, but I mean, you gotta. So you might as well keep thing for this. The perfect use for him. And there we go. Fog machine works. Like some fog. And then we'll go through the chimney. And this is a great one too. With our umbrella, we'll slowly go down. We're Mary Poppins, y'all. Got a ton of this. Unfortunately, it looks like I can't get it all in one go, but we know that there is 20,000 there in case we need it later. Though I'd really rather not have to come back to the attic, so. But I think we're gonna need to. Uh, we are really short on um, money, so I think we're gonna need to go back and get that bonus room. Because uh, I think the bonus room might have a full 100,000, which will be enough. Um, we could have gotten the one in the attic. Maybe I should have just gotten that one instead. Um, but I guess you can skip one. Oh, right. You can skip one, but you can't skip both. But at least now I know. And knowing's half the answer, or whatever. Let's go save Pugsley first. Which does require us going all the way back to the landing. It is frustrating the amount of times you have to go through this damn hallway. But that's okay. Almost there. Oh, no, that's Wednesday's room. My mistake. Probably it's in the last one, isn't it? Yeah, it's right here. Okay. And let's uh, save our boy. Our little big fat boy. Thank you for saving me. No problem, Pugsley. Now, Pugsley himself doesn't give you an actual, like, thing that can... Oh, there it was. He was a little item. Uh, he doesn't give you, like, a key or anything else. He doesn't give you anything. But a lot of people think that the actual last door of the game can't be opened without him, so maybe that's what it's for. Anyways, we're gonna try again for this um, little bonus room in this uh, in the window on the right here. You have to, like, oh, okay, I got it. Jeez, you gotta press like the B button or two button, I guess, the right time. But now we go. There we go. We have enough now at 988. And there are a couple at the very last hallway, but we are now ready to go. We're gonna leave, we're gonna avoid the getting stabbed by the sword. We're gonna go back to the uh, study, where we can call Lurch with a different piece of music. Let's beat this. Yeah, as you can see, much shorter than the uh, Super NES version. Still fun though. I do enjoy it. You know me, I like these kind of games. I don't know why, it's just silly. I wanna just play through them once. Looks like you're moonwalking a little bit. No, not moonwalking, but it looks like you're walking backwards and forwards, Gomez. So, for this one, let's move the stool all the way to the uh, right, and then to the left. I don't know what the other piece of music does. I don't know if it does anything, but whatever. A little lurch. Play this for me, please. Uh, and this song will create the last door in the game. Right there in the bookcase. And this room is straight up from the movie, and that is the chain room. All five of these chains can be activated. The one on the right, uh, well, actually, let's go to the left. The left one is what you need. The other ones that will either kill you or bring you to another part of the room, the house which you don't want to go to. We get the little secret river. And now we have a million bucks. We are good to beat the game. Ow. <laughs> don't even need that. I was like thinking about going back for it. I was like, I don't need it. So this is like, 
30, 40,000 here. That's not too bad that you can kind of get away with. But there we go. So this is, that was the door that Pugsley might be able to open. But weighing in, you need a million. That's where, that's why you need it. All right, we're there. Watch out for uh, Fester, who, by the way, looks like he's dressed like a friggin' kid from 1996. Look at those, like, the, the jeans. It looks like bell bottoms or whatever, the, the weird pants from the 90s. And then he got, I think this is Tully? I'm not sure. You don't have to kill him, you just have to get to Morticia. But three hits will kill him, so we might as well kill him. I almost died there. There we go! Alright, Tish. Speak French to me. There you go. Oh, she looks <laughs> terrible. Congratulations, Gomez. You've rescued Morticia and restored the family treasure. Sure. The end. That was the Adams family. A really silly but fun game. Uh, I I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to help but feel kind of you know not happy about getting this kind of game for Christmas if the the Super NES version was would have been available. But uh, it was still fun to play for a quickie on the channel. And this just kind of keeps going until you press uh, start or whatever. But yeah, <laughs> hope you enjoyed that. Uh, the last two games, this game and the last game, Castlevania Two, were kind of like. Silly and not very bloody, but the next two games, we have some blood and gore coming your way. So with that, I'm Fallen Blanks. See you next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.